Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I'm a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict. And I wanna thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my video today. This is a yarn and crochet channel where we talk about all things yarn and all things crochet. So if that interests you, please sit back and watch this video because today my friends, I offer you another episode of our podcast, Yarn Talk and All The Things. My friends, it is jam packed. So much so that I had to skim some things from this and that to make it all fit. So I'm gonna give you a rundown of our podcast and we need to get started, okay? <laughs> okay, so first we have Coffee Talk. We always start the episode off with Coffee Talk, okay? Next we have Sign With Juan, and then we have Project Updates, and then we have New To Me Hooks. Yes, friends, can you believe it? With all the hooks I have, there are still hooks that I have yet to try. So we have that. And then next we have Sign With Juan, and then last, but certainly not least, we have Happy Mail. So, coffee talk, my friends. Like I said, I had to skim some off the top. So, today, we only have one comment. So, for those of you guys who are just happening upon my channel for the very first time, there is a link in the show notes where you can click on that, and you can support my caffeine addiction, right here. And you can purchase me a cup of coffee, and you can leave a comment. I will, in turn, take that comment sit in front of the camera and tell everyone on the YouTube streets what that comment was. And I'll share it with everybody. It's all the things. <laughs> anyway, today we have one comment and it's from Yaya. So Yaya writes, I've been crocheting for over 58 years and you, my friend, have taught me a valuable lesson. It is to be braver and to try new stitches and colors in my projects. That wheel of yours is so magical. I look forward to watching you every day. Your channel is awesome and different than the others. You're such a breath of fresh air. Hoping you enjoy the coffee as much as I enjoy watching your channel. This comment, my friends, is such a breath of fresh air. Are you kidding me? Thank you, Yaya. I really appreciate that. And listen, the wheel is always in tow. I have it in arm's reach because you never know what kind of project we need it for. Decisions need to be made, friends, and this here makes decisions. <laughs> it always helps, you know? And it actually pushes me. Like, instead of pre-planning in my head, I let this pick for me and then I try to figure out how to make things work, you know? So it kind of pushes the boundaries, it pushes the envelope for me. And I love that other people love this wheel. So love that for all of us. <laughs> okay, so that's it for Coffee Talk. Let's go ahead and do Sign with Juan. Okay, just a few signs, right? Because we have to keep it moving. Lots of things. So first, coffee. All right, so the sign for coffee. And I'll show you the sign for tea as well. So the sign for coffee, you're going to make two fists. And you're going to hold them up like this, okay? You're going to bring it on top of one another, and you're going to churn. Just do this. And that's it. That's coffee. And, of course, you're going to say, coffee. Which, I use this sign a lot in my house. We are huge coffee drinkers here. We love all the coffee. Dunkin' Donuts, Hazelnut Coffee. <laughs> International Delight Sugar-Free Creamer. Right? Love that for all of us. It's so good. I had to take a pit stop. We talked coffee. So anyway, coffee, coffee. Okay. Next is tea. So what you want to do is you want to make a circle with your hand. Pretend that this is the mug, the, the tea cup. Okay. So that's that. And then now with this hand, you're going to pinch. So your thumb and your first finger, and you're going to go like this like you're dipping the tea bag and you're going to say tea just like that that's the sign for tea tea <laughs> so there you have it you have coffee and you have tea the third one that i want to teach you is water so depending on where you live some people say water some people say water it's all one and the same tomato tomato but the sign is the same no matter where you're at the sign for water is the same in the, in the United States. Let me be specific, okay? Because there are different types of sign language the further away from the states you go. So 
anyway, the sign for water is you want to do this. So remember this, the number three. So if you can't touch, that's fine. Just do what you can. But these three fingers need to be up. This, my friends, is the letter W in sign language. Okay, so the sign for water is you make a W and then you you tap your chin just like this. Water. And that's how you do water. Water. Coffee. Tea. So there you have it. Three new signs today, my friends. And again, this is going to be recapped on the weekly recap. So there will be one video that drops once a week and it is a recap video. Episode one has already filmed, it's on the channel. We are now moving on to episode two, which will be recorded and on the channel this weekend, okay? So, next thing we're gonna talk about is a project update. So, if you follow me on other social medias, you already know what I'm about to talk about, but for those of you guys who do not, um, I'm going to share this with you. So, in my intro video, many, many videos ago, almost 240 or 250 videos ago, I uh, did that video with a triangle scarf that I made before I started the channel. I wasn't really good at making the triangle scarves, but I was really inspired. And so I took it upon myself to buy myself some scarfy and I went to town with it. And I was so proud of it because I finished it. I mean, as imperfect as it was, I loved it, right? So it's this one right here. So obviously it's in my colors, it's purple and gray. However, the ball band uh, says that it's magenta and charcoal. So yeah, we're running with what the colorway is. I'm, I'm pointing because I have the skeins here. Excuse me, I'm gonna grab them really quick to show you. For those of you guys who are not familiar with scarfy yarns, so, that's the colorway of the scarf that I've completed. This is magenta charcoal, okay? And this particular scarf took two and a half, a little more than two and a half of those to complete. And so anyway, the reason why I'm showing you this is because now that I've been on my channel for a while, I come back and I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, I've done enough projects to where I can sit here and pick myself apart here and be like, you need to reconstruct this and use what you've learned thus far and apply it to this to make this even better than what this is already. So um, this is currently an eight row repeat that repeats three times, one, two, three and a half times. So that's what it's looking like. It's very holy but see, a lot of people like that. Um, at the time, um, I really wasn't thinking about that. I just wanted something that was in my colors, which was this. And so, yeah, anyway, the update is, is that I rewrote the pattern for this. And I've selected testers, and I'm in the process of sending them the pattern to test it. And I can't wait to hear back from them. Um, so yeah, there's that. Once I get feedback from the testers, I'm gonna go ahead and um, create a tutorial and do all the things. My friends, this is called the Genesis Scarf. And do you wanna know why it's called the Genesis Scarf? Because it was the first one that I showed on my channel on the very first video. So to new beginnings, the Genesis Scarf. So yes. It has sentimental value to me because, again, it's the first one. So I'm not looking to change it all together. I'm looking to improve it. So when you see this again, I'm going to pair it next to the one that's been reconstructed, and we'll see the improvements. And we'll talk about this again in the future. But for now, the Genesis scarf. Because prior to this, I didn't have a name for it. And... Uh, my lovely viewers and my followers and subscribers came up with the name. So I absolutely love it. And that's what it's going to be. So there's that. Okay. So new to me hooks. All right. So 
I've shown you guys this a few episodes ago, maybe one or two episodes ago. I bought these hooks at Dollar Tree. Dollar twenty-five tree, right? Okay, they're plastic hooks, crafter square. Okay, they come in three different sets. Um, you have the four, the four point the four point five. You have the five point and the five point five, and then you have the six point and the six point five. So yeah, three dollars and seventy-five cents. You have yourself six hooks. So. I said before that I was going to show this on my channel again and we were going to do all the things, and we will. Um, but in addition to this, I received Happy Mail that I opened up on another video. I, it was my members live, and I was gifted Omi Hooks from uh, Mishi. And I will link her channel in the show notes. Feel free to pay her a visit. She's amazing. Um, anyway, she sent me these Omi hooks, and I've never worked with Omi hooks before. And so, here's the one. This here is a six millimeter J hook. So that's nice. We're going to do close ups at the tutorial table in a minute, and I promise it won't take forever. I just want you guys to get a close up, bird's eye view of these hooks, okay? And then this other one that she sent me in Happy Mail is the rainbow one, which I love. <laughs> I love it. Look at how beautiful that is. I can't wait to see what that looks like under different lighting. So yeah, we have that one. Okay. And then I decided to treat myself to some O-Fire hooks. So I was gifted O-Fire hooks way in the beginning of my channel. Um, I've shown them on hook review, my latest hook review and everything, but, um, I said, let me go and get some more, you know, I, I really, I mean, honestly, the, the O-Fire hooks, they're not as long as the Omi hooks, but they're good. They're good. In, in my very humble opinion, they're good. So anyway, I went ahead and ordered from O-Fire and I'm just now opening this. I should have opened it beforehand, but, you know. <laughs> I procrastinate and I wait till the last minute for everything. You know. Anywho. So here we have, they come in these tubes, which is nice. And these run $16.99 a piece. So one, the one here that I have in my hand is Alexandrite the June birthstone, and then the amethyst, the February birthstone. So let's, let's get right into it. Let's look at it. So we have this one here and my friends, the one that I was gifted early on in my channel was this line of hooks. So you guys would have seen this already, but that hook was a K. A six and a half millimeter hook. This is a six. It's my favorite size to use. So I got a six millimeter hook so that we had twins. <laughs> and then this one here, I really, really like. Look at that. So nice. Anyway. I am going to pause us. We're going to go to the tutorial table and I'm going to show you a closer look at these hooks. I have some yarn waiting for us. We're going to play with it really quick and then we're going to come back and carry on with the rest of our podcast. Okay. So for now, I'll see you on the other side. One second. Okay, friends. So let's get right into this. So we have these crafter square hooks and okay. So that's what that's looking like, right? So let's start with this. Um, okay. So what I like is, I like how it actually, there, you know, there's a hook there. Another thing I like is the point and the taper is good. It's not bad, friends. And I imagine they're all the same way, just different sizes, obviously. Yeah, that's nice. 
Yep. Okay. So let me just move those to the side right there. And let's go for the Omi hooks. So this one here is the rainbow one, six and a half K. Love that. Stay put. <laughs> and then this one. Love this. It reminds me of like Leo the Leo the Lion. Love that. Okay, so up close. So there is, there really isn't a bevel on either side of this. Um, so I'm curious what this is like when you speed crochet. Does it slip or doesn't it slip? Same thing for this one here. There's no bevel on the side. Now, what I'm talking about, does this have it? No, this doesn't have it. Let me pull a hook up that has a bevel. So you know what I'm talking about. Sit tight, my friends. I'll be right with you. So I'm going to pull one of my hero hooks. So hero hook, you see that right here? See how that has a bevel? That actually holds the yarn as you're working it. Um, yeah, and when you speed crochet, it actually helps you know keep that yarn from slipping. In my experience, I mean, everyone's different. But um, these hooks here don't have that. So I'm curious to know what that's going to be like when I crochet quickly, which is what I prefer to do. I don't like to crochet slow. Um, this doesn't have it either. Okay. But guys, these were $1.25. So I'm not expecting the world out of these. <laughs> okay. So let's look at the O-Fire hooks. Okay, same thing here. There's no bevel on either side. But let's just see. Maybe it's just a matter of taste. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so there's that one. And then we have this one here. Just going to take them all out and play with them. And so there we have those. Sorry about that, friends. Okay, so I have some yarn here. Let's go ahead and start with the Dollar Tree hooks. So I'm gonna grab this, no, let's grab the six. Let's do the six. Okay, let's see what this does. Again, for $1.25, I'm not expecting mountains here. What I like is this grip, this grip is nice. goes into the stitches nice. I mean, it is your typical plastic hook. Um, I like how it handles the yarn too. It's not bad. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. And uh, all things considered, I mean, seriously, it does the job. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so not bad at all. All right, let's play with, let's do, let's do the O-Fire hook. This one here is a six, okay, perfect. So let's see what's going on with this. Okay, so already I can tell a difference <laughs> from the um, Dollar Tree hook to this one. Just how I'm able to yank that yarn around. Hmm. Okay. Well, I like how pointed the hook is, so that's nice. Um, for me, it's just the way that it's uh, handling the yarn, and maybe this hook will work better with other yarns. Um, I'm not really sure. It's doing the job. It's doing it's doing what it should be doing. 
it's just the, the way that it's holding, the way that it's handling the yarn is very different than what I'm accustomed to. Let me see if sizes of, is it, are these the same size? Yeah, they're the same size. So it's gonna produce the same thing. All right, so let's go over to the Omi hook. Let's play with this. Okay, yes, difference. I feel a difference between the um, O-Fire and the Omi already. Let's see. It makes the, the noise. <laughs> Those of us who uh, know, we know that squeaky noise that plastic hooks make. Actually, I'm, I'm not mad at this. I really do. And look at this. I love that part. How it it's it's big enough for me and I my hands are huge yeah I really really like this hmm. yeah I do like that and uh, yeah I mean I like these o fire hooks as well I mean again I have humongous hands so you can't really you know, judge that, you know, based on my hands. My review is slightly biased because I have huge hands. Um, yeah, wow. And then let's do this. That little bit of difference really does make a difference, I guess. And let's look at the heads. So this is slightly... Uh, thinner which I do like I do like how that gets into the stitches um, this one here for me it's just the way that it handles it handles the yarn a little better in my opinion but I really like how this executes the stitch I like that okay so um, yeah I like all of the hooks here there there isn't anything that I don't like um, these crafter square hooks these I'm surprised at how nice these handle um, for a dollar 25 and I know I keep saying that but for a dollar 25 friends a pla this plastic hook it's not bad at all I mean seriously <laughs> it's not bad for a dollar 25 and it just it holds and it does everything that it's supposed to do I can speed crochet with this yeah this is nice Okay, so, all right, that's enough of that. I'm going to bring us back into the other room, and we'll continue on with the podcast. Just one second. Okay, friends, so we are back. I need another swig of my coffee. <laughs> mm. I was pleasantly surprised by all the hooks. I really enjoyed them. Um, I'm curious to know how they work up with different kinds of yarns. So that's going to be my next uh, task after this uh, podcast. I'm going to go pull uh, different kinds of yarns that I have in my yarnscape and uh, play. So that's always fun, playing with yarn. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. The next thing that we're going to do is sign with one. So I'm going to teach you light and dark, okay? So... You know, when we talk colors, um, like I covered last time, we, we went over the rainbow colors here. Um, there's a difference in how you would sign like light pink or dark red or light green and all the things. So light and dark are very important when talking about colors um, because it helps describe what it is that you're trying to explain. So first I'm going to teach you the sign for light. So for light, what you're going to do is you're going to take your middle fingers, like hold your hands out, but pronounce your middle fingers, like put them out like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come down here, right about here, and you're going to come up like that. Light. Light. That's the sign. So middle fingers, hands out, middle fingers, down like this. And you're going to point your fingers at yourself. Light. 
light. <laughs> light. So that's the sign for light. All right. And then now the sign for dark is this. You take your hands and you bring them down into a V and you say the word dark. Dark. So light, dark. Easy. Okay. So that's it. <laughs> light, dark, coffee, tea, and water. So feel free to rewind, replay, and all the things, um, or just wait for the weekend recap. And I cover all of that in the weekend recap. And hopefully you guys have been working on your homework. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so A, B, C, D, E, and F. So that was homework. Make sure you guys are practicing. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on to the next uh, portion of our uh, podcast episode here, which is the Happy Mail. Before I get into the Happy Mail, though, this package came to me. I thought that um, it was something I ordered because I order random things off of Amazon all the time. But it didn't come with a note. I, it wasn't something that I ordered, and I wasn't sure if it was meant for my mom or not. I opened it up, and it, it's actually my size, not hers. It's a shirt. Um, and it says, one, the yarn addict. Yeah, it doesn't have, like, any messages. Anyway, let me show you the shirt. So if you gifted mom this shirt, just know... <laughs> it's my size, not hers. <laughs> it looks like something that she would wear, though. She would love wearing this. It says, crochet fills my days. Yarn fills my living room, dining room, bedroom, closets. <laughs> oh, look at all the pink. Look at all the pink, my friends. I'm going to try it on. And if it is meant for my mother, then I will give it to my mother. But I want to try it on pink and all. We're going to see what it looks like on me and all the things. So I will be right back. Okay. I have it on. <laughs> Look. What do you think? <laughs> I like it. I'm going to wear it for the rest of the episode. <laughs> Uh, and if you were the one who got me the shirt, please put it in the comments if it was meant for mom or for me. I mean, I don't know. I can rock pink, right? I don't know. Mm. I like it. Yeah. Because this is true for me. It does all the things. Yeah. I showed on the other platform. Um, <laughs> I took all the china out of the china cabinet and I filled it with yarn. <laughs> <laughs> I took a t I gave people a tour of all the things and it's it's everywhere. Yep, it's in the attic, it's here, it's in the next room, it's in the dining room. It's in my room. Yeah, this is a very factual statement here. I love that for me. Mm. Anyway, let's move on while I wear this amazing t-shirt. Thank you to whoever got this. It doesn't say who, but if that was you, thank you. And if it was meant for mom, I'm gonna throw it in the washer and give it to her, okay? So let's move on to some happy mail. I have three happy mails here. And so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this first one here, let me see if I can say the person's name. Cause it looks like it's a, it's a, it's a channel. Yeah, I, I, I know I can say it, the happy heart hooker. So, Jen, the happy heart hooker, thank you for this. I don't even know what's in here yet, but thank you. I'm always flattered when other channels send me things. I'm like, you watch me? <laughs> I love that. I will tell you, it's the, the tape situation is pretty intense. So this is what I see, okay? 
Let's see. Sensi. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, check this out, guys. Look. Uh, open this up. Come on, Juan. Uh. Ooh, that smells good. The scent is called Mystery Man. Love that. Oh, that smells so good. Yes. Yep. Let's put this over here. <gasps> Look at that. Wait, there's a there's a letter. Hold on. I can't wait to shoot. Hold on. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, hold on. <laughs> All the things are happening right now. Okay. So, there's stickers here. Radiate positivity. I love this sticker. It should be my mantra. And the little doggy. Love that. And rad. Love that. <sighs> Jen. Um... And this here, there's a note on this. Um, there's this, and there's a little note on here that says, this is the women's music fraternity of which I'm a part of. Thank you, I love that. Thank you for, uh, thank you for sending that. Okay, let me see. Uh, okay, I give my permission to share my name and info to show and explain the Happy Meal, but please do not read the full letter aloud, okay. I will de definitely not do that. Um, okay. So I can read the first paragraph, but then after that... All right, so it says, Hi Juan, I just want to tell you how much I love your videos. I've been a follower subscriber for a little over a month now and have gone back and watched all of your podcasts. I was totally digging the ponytail. <laughs> a little FYI, friends, my hair used to... I used to have really long hair and the sides would be shaved. From like here down this was all hair here really long yeah um, and I used to keep it up in a bun a ponytail um, anyway um, and I'm now working my way through the re remaining videos I've managed to catch only one live stream and it, ha it just happened to be the one where you were showing photos of you playing a stringed in instrument from that moment on I knew that I was meant to find you well thank you so much it goes on and on and on but that was meant for me so Thank you so much, Jen. I really appreciate that. Look at this. I've been wanting to show you this for like 60 whole seconds. <laughs> I love this. Hold on. I need to take this out of the bag. I need to show you guys all the things. Look at this. Are you kidding me right now? Look at this. Okay? Okay. What? I love this. Ugh. I love this. We have to give them a name, friends. We have to give them a name. Look, <laughs> I forgot to tell you guys, I put Raphael on top of the No Drama Llama. You know, they ride together. <laughs> They're ride or die. <laughs> oh, welcome to the club. We'll have you right there for right now. Let me not put you so close to the candle. Yes, love that. Look, they're a team. Love that. You know, maybe this is a sign that I really need to start digging Amis and getting. I need to get into those because I have the books. I have the recipes. I just need to, the patience to sit down and actually do it. Maybe this is a sign. Maybe. Okay. And then this, I think, it belongs with that. It's a sensey situation. Hold on, let me get... I want to see what's inside here. Okay. Let's take a look and see what this is. It's a plug. Okay, okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. I love this. It's neutral... It just, it will go in any room. It's, it's going in my room. I love this. Love the neutral colors. It's right up my alley. I love that. Thank you, Jen. I really appreciate this. And this scent, my friends, 
you have to check that out. Scentsy. Scentsy, it's made in Idaho, and the scent is called Mystery Man. That smells so good. He's going to stay out of the box. He's going to stay right there. And I have to figure out a name for him. No, he doesn't look like a Paco. I don't know. We'll think. We'll think of something. Paco Taco. <laughs> oh, my imagination, friends. I don't know where it takes me sometimes, but sometimes I just have to reel it in. Uh, you know, sometimes I go too far with the situation and I'm like, okay, <laughs> you're doing the most, Juan. Come back. Come back. <laughs> Okay, so this next piece of Happy Meal here, right here, um, let me see, it doesn't say if I can say anything, okay, let me just go ahead and open this, see, I tried opening boxes before the videos, but it really ruins the element of surprise, so I stopped doing that. I just have to get really good at opening boxes quickly. <laughs> that's, that's something that I have to focus on. And, you know, I need to get better at that. Just for myself. Hold on. I'll get there, friends. I promise. I'm going as fast as I can. I should have done it that way. Okay. We're getting there. If you have to, friends, fast forward me. <laughs> I'll get there. I know that you people use this tape because they want to make sure that it doesn't get opened. I do get it, so I'm not even mad at that. Okay. Okay. Whew. We did it. This is what I see. Okay. Let's take a look at all the things. Okay. Well, first we have this, and then we have... Hirschner's. Now this looks like colors mom. That's mom. That has mom written all over that. But yeah, that has mom written all over that. Yeah, because yeah, that's mom. Let me see. Maybe it's for me. I don't know. So it says, yes, you can say my name. So this comes to us from Nancy. Not my sister from another mister, but another Nancy. Um, there's lots of Nancys on the YouTube streets. I love that for us. So let's go ahead and open this up. And it says, thank you. I love that. And it's got like a map of the U.S. underneath, which is nice. Okay. Okay. It says, Juan, thanks so much for your wonderful content. Your true joy your kind personality and contagious laughter, all the things. <laughs> I love that. Thanks for sharing your mom. My late mother was also deaf and she reminds me of her. Take care, Nancy. Thank you so much, Nancy. I'm what you call a coda. I'm a child of a deaf uh, adult, C-O-D-A. And um, other codas know exactly what it feels like to be a child of a deaf parent or a deaf adult. And, you know, when I get messages like this, I know that they know what struggles that we go through. So I love that. And also we go through blessings as well. So there's a lot of positivity that comes out of having a deaf parent as well. So love that. And then it has PS, what is enclosed is purple. So let me, let me do this. Here's the yarn. Okay. And then, oh, look at this. So this says, this is for my mom. It says, happy birthday, Wilma. So I'm assuming 
this here is mom's. This might be mine. I don't know. Maybe it's in the card. Is the card sealed? Look, listen, mom's not going to see this video. <laughs> um, and let me just, I'm just going to, I'm not going to read it out loud. Maybe I will. I don't know. Let me just make sure that the yarn, see who the yarn belongs to. I hope you enjoy your small gift and the yarn. Okay, so this yarn does belong to mom. It says, Wilma, happy birthday. You are loved by many people. Okay, I hope you enjoy my small gift and the yarn. Okay, I'm glad I checked because, listen, I would have started an Afghan and then I would have felt bad because it was supposed to be for mother. So, besides... I have enough yarn. <laughs> I have enough yarn, friends. So does my mom. I know my mom can always use more yarn. She's always crocheting all day, all night with her stories and her cups of coffee. I love that for her. Okay. So there's that. Oh, I forgot I had this little one over here. Um, let me do this one really quick. It's It's this. 41. Okay. Just checking the time. Um, this here comes to us from Canada. Okay. Let me just make sure I don't cut anything. Hold on. And if this is supposed to be for mom, I will retape it. So maybe we get a sneak peek. Let's see. Okay, it says, hi Juan, hopefully this package arrived in one piece. Apologies if it didn't make it on time for your mom's birthday. You can read this on your channel if you wish. I've sent a birthday card and a small gift for your mom. I hope it makes her smile. Feel free to use the square any way you'd like. The other gift is for you. I'm sure you will know which one. I hope it makes you giggle. I had uh, washed and dried it so the color faded slightly. Keep up the great work. I'm a friend of your YouTube and Facebook, Denise. Denise. Um, AKA the loopy Pegasus. <laughs> Thank you so much, Denise. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at how beautiful this is. Look at, I don't know if the, is it showing? It's got little things to it. That's so nice. Okay. Stay right there. Okay, so this card is for mother. Love that. I'm gonna make sure she gets that. And then, <laughs> oh, oh my God, Denise, you are hilarious. I love that. Okay, so it says, <laughs> sometimes I get distracted. Squirrel. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> the reason, okay, so on my other lives, I do lives on Facebook and other social media platforms, and while I'm talking, I'm completely relaxed. It's almost like you're hanging out with me. It's a Friday night, you know, we're just hanging out, right? And so what happens is I'll be fully engaged in the conversation, and then all of a sudden someone will say something and then the conversation that I just had or was having stops abruptly. And then I skip over and then I forget. And then I'm like, Ugh. I got distracted friends, squirrel. <laughs> so she made me a bag. That's so cool. Thank you so much, Denise. I love that. And it's purple and I get to put all the things in it. I love that. Thank you. So let me just sit this over here. Perfect. I forgot about this. So, oh, Nancy, sorry. I forgot about this. This was in the box. Let me take a quick look. See, I told you I got distracted. Squirrel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. Listen, it's the simple things that go such a long way with me. Look at this. How awesome is this? For my coffee and all the things. 
Yeah, the purple yarn. Yarn addict. Yes, that's me. I am a yarn addict, friends. By every stretch of the imagination, I could have rooms. I could have this whole house filled with yarn. From the floor to the ceiling, you'll still see me at Joanne's and Michael's looking for more yarn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still look and see, do they have anything new? What about that color? What about that size? What about those hooks? It's so insane how addicted I am to yarn and all the things. Anyway, let's move on to the last piece of Happy Mail. <laughs> oh, I love that you guys enjoy my, my addiction and all the things. <laughs> There's worse addictions to have, friends. I'm just saying. I love this one. All right, so anyway, let me see if, well, let me just go ahead and open it. All right, that one was fun, very quick. Look at this, friends. Look at this, it's yarn. Hold on, hold on. Okay, all right, so it says one. I'm sorry that it took me so long to get this mail to you. I watched your video where you said you were making a blanket out of old yarns. Yes, I am. I'm giving you a few that I have had for years and have not used. Oh, goodness. I love that for me. In that same video, you received Happy Mail with one skein of fruit punch. I have had these for a long time as well. Lastly, I couldn't send you something and not send anything for your mom. That's so sweet. Um, the blue yarns fr are from Hobby Lobby. Wait. The blue yarns from Hobby Lobby are for your mom. Okay, so that makes sense because my mother loves this yarn. Oh, I can't wait to show you what's in here. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Dawn. It's going right to her, too. She has... Uh, <laughs> she's been working on that blanket. She started working on that blue blanket with the shimmer... Um, from the yarns that Nancy over at She's Got Yarn gifted to her. She's finished the blanket, but wait till she sees this blue. She's going to sit there and be like, could I add more rounds to that? <laughs> I know my mother. Yep, I am my mother's son. That's exactly how I would think. Okay, so these are vintage yarns, my friends. Yes, so this colorway here is candy. Ugh. And it is in perfect shape. It would... It's going to work up great with those motifs that I'm making. So this here, let me give you one. So Red Heart Super Saver. The colorway here is candy. And this here is 2.5 ounces. It's 70 grams, 100% acrylic. Uh, hook recommendation is a 5 millimeter crochet hook, a US letter H. And yeah, super nice. And... Same dye lots and all the things. Yeah, this is vintage, my friends. And I am here for all the things. I love it. It's got the lime, the yellow, the greens, the purples. It even has pink. And listen, you see, I'm evolving, friends. I'm growing. I'm growing into the pink. Okay? Watch. A year from now, we're going to, the whole yarnscape will be every shade of pink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but could you imagine a whole wall full of various shades of pink yarn from Juan the Yarn Addict? Wow. Even I say wow. Okay. This one here is another vintage. It's called Star Brights. Red Heart Super Saver. This here is six ounces, 170 grams. It's 100% acrylic. The hook recommendation is a five millimeter crochet hook. And yeah, all the things, star brights. I love this. Yep, I love that. Love it. Next, we have Red Heart Kids. So there's multiple skeins here. Um, this one here, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you this one. Sorry, <laughs> that went kind of quick. I apologize. So this here is four ounces. 113 grams. It's 100% acrylic. Again, the hook recommendation is a 5 millimeter crochet hook. And um, yeah, machine washable and dryable. So that is cool. Huh. Yeah. And the thing about this project that I'm working on with these vintage yarns 
it clashes so bad. <laughs> it clashes, but that's okay. The point of it is it's all vintage yarns, all the things, all the yarns that are no longer in circulation. It's my ode to all the vintage, vintage variegated yarns. Sorry, I couldn't talk there for a second. Look at this. Wow. I've been on the hunt for these like you would not believe. And it, these, these, this, I can't even talk. These yarns, this yarn is super soft. I love it. It's squishy. It's vintage. It's hard to get a hold of. I don't know why. They should have kept this in circulation. It's fruit punch, friends. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I have the, I'm collecting the yarns, okay? So as I get them, like I know how, how much I need. I need three th between 3,000 and 3,500 yards of this yarn, okay? Now what I'm thinking about doing is getting, um, not vintage, but the Red Heart with Love, they still make it um, a solid. And I'm going to tie it in with a solid instead of making it a completely variegated project. Um, so it depends on how much I'm able to find. Like I'm still hunting eBay. I'm still on various websites looking for this yarn. If any of you guys um, want to sell it to me uh, or can point me in the right direction on where to find it, please tell me. Okay. Um, I will definitely be interested in that. Okay. So I need a swig of coffee after that. <laughs> mm. oh, so my friends, that wraps up this episode. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button, please. And then of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We have tons of things that we're doing all over the place. Um, my Facebook group, Juan the Yarn Addict and Friends. Answer the questions, come on in, share your makes, show me what you got. And I show you what I have and all the things. It's uh, super fun. Also, if you're not aware, I have memberships turned on. So my memberships, uh, you know, they're called uh, Official One or no, Official Yarn Addicts. They're $4.99. And you get lots of perks, including free patterns and things like that before they go on to Ravelry.com. So if any of that is of interest to you, feel free to reach out to me. Um, at hookedcreations123 at gmail.com. And again, as the memberships um, settle in, things will evolve and change for the better, of course, you know, because this is the first time I've turned them on. Um, and so, yeah, there's all the things happening. But first, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and then turn on the notifications so you can stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. My friends, it's been a pleasure a privilege and all the things sitting with you guys for this hour. Um, until the next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.